Hey guys, Anthony here with another story. Just looking at a couple things here uh, that I wanted to discuss in this video. Um, Washington, D.C., where I am currently, uh, has extended its stay-at-home order through May 15th. That's another month. Today's only April 15th, guys. So the people of Washington, D.C. have a stay-at-home order through May 15th, and who knows if that will extend after that or they will get back to work. Uh, so that's pretty disturbing, you know, to hear that uh, for all the people that um, are losing their jobs and businesses here in D.C. Although a lot of restaurants and the like are delivering, there's a big delivery set up here in D.C. that makes it conducive for that. So I think a lot of places are, are uh, relying on that for added income and still making money. But in other parts of the country, it's a lot different. Um, so this is another article here that I wanted to talk about. So a man commits murder. This is this was in, um, I think, in Tampa, Florida. He gets out of, gets arrested on drug-related charges. He's got a huge rap sheet. Uh, he gets out of, uh, out of jail because of the coronavirus, and he kills somebody uh, the next day. And so these inmates that were being released all over the country, their names and their information were not given to police, I don't believe, in order to track them or to watch them after they get uh, after they had got released. But at the same time, uh, they want us people, John Q. Public, regular American citizens, to give up health related information about this virus, whether we had it or not, um, and also to give our names to the police so they can, whatever, track us or do whatever. So regular citizens, it's okay. They need our names and our information, <clears throat> but criminals that get let out of jail, we don't need to know who they are. Don't tell us who they are because there's privacy concerns, but privacy concerns for regular citizens are thrown out the window. And that's the kind of stuff that eats my blood, guys. That's the kind of stuff that gets my blood boiling. Uh, that, it, you know, on one end, uh, you know, we have to protect their information. And it, it's illegal to let criminal information out. But for regular people, in order to go back to work, uh, you're going to be have to be tracked. And everyone's going to have to know who you, uh, where you are at all times. Maybe your name won't be given or your address. But I'm sure people will be able to figure it out after a while. So more and more of our private information is going to be given up after this pandemic is over. You can count on it, guys. Don't count on it getting better or going back to normal. It's going to get worse. Uh, location data and digital surveillance are going to be the norm uh, moving forward. And that's one of the reasons why I keep doing these videos and saying what I'm saying. I personally don't trust law enforcement with this. I don't trust what they're being turned into, and I don't think it's going to be good all the way around, all the way across the board. I just don't trust it. Uh, that's my opinion. Um, targeting, checkpoints, you name it. Uh, I don't trust it. Um, there's talk about, is there a new strain of the virus emerging? Uh, people that have tested, have had the virus, they're saying, are testing positive again. Is that a false negative, or is something else, or a new strain emerging. That's another issue that I guess they're looking at. I also saw a story here. Uh, I think it was in um, in Pittsburgh through KDKA uh, had reported that there was a bill submitted in Pittsburgh to guarantee $2,000 or to provide $2,000 a month per family of cash. In other words, like a universal uh, basic income. I think that's how it uh, reads uh, during this uh, pandemic. So I think we saw uh, Spain possibly experimenting with that. Is that where we're headed in this country, a universal basic income? In other words, uh, stay home, you'll get 2000 a month, and live happily ever after. Is that where we're headed in this country? Uh, is it the end of cash? There's articles regarding that. We'll talk about more uh, those articles in depth. Uh, in another video, uh, factories are shutting down to near 
World War II levels. I watched a video uh, yesterday um, talking about the uh, uh, the pork processing plant that had shut down in the United States, and the gentleman in the video was talking about, you know, what do you think the pig, the people that raise the pigs that go to the slaughterhouse, what do you think they're going to do with all the pigs that were formerly going to the slaughterhouse that are no longer going to the slaughterhouse? Are you think they're going to donate them to the public? Do you think they're going to, you know, butcher them themselves and hand hand out the meat to people? Uh, he stated that, no, they're going to they're going to butcher or kill the hogs and then look to collect money, insurance money from the government for their farm, for their pig farm. So this can snowball guys into what we're talking about, how the food shortages can uh, mushroom and get out of control with farmers rather than having nothing to do or not being able to deliver their milk or their groceries, or excuse me, their their um vegetables they'd rather destroy them than bring them to market because they simply don't have the money to bring them to market or to deliver them so we can see huge uh, food shortages because of that and uh, the supply chain breaking down as well so that's something that's very much on the table here guys and we know what people will do after missing uh, just a few meals and that's what i've been talking about for years on my prepping channel you know, we're, we're several meals away from anarchy in this country. I think it's a well-known uh, fact that that's the case. And I think it's uh, something to be um, uh, very much uh, concerned about. Um, see if there's anything else here I want to talk about. Um, Elon Musk, I guess, was praised in California by Governor uh, Gavin Newsom for donating ventilators or saying he was going to donate up to a thousand ventilators, but I don't think Mr. Musk has uh, delivered on that promise yet. So, what somebody says they're going to do is different from what they actually do do, guys. Um. So yeah, so that's um. Just trying to see if there's anything else here apart from our economy bursting at the seams, how the middle class and people in this economy that really need to get back to work are not being able to. But Wall Street is getting bailed out, is getting sent trillions of dollars, and small businesses are getting caught in red tape and uh, laying off workers. Jobs may never return uh, in some segments of the economy. And um, here we have Wall Street being bailed out with money left and right every single day and new uh, plans to, for that to continue and the continuing de devaluing of our dollar uh, is is happening, and it's destroying our economy. And um, when does it end, guys? No one knows. That's today's video. Thanks for watching. Take care. Stay ready.